afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, again. I uh, got a nice little kid review that a good friend of mine actually sent me uh, recently. Joe Bendy of Joe's uh, Model Kits. I was very, very, very surprised when I seen the little kit. It's absolutely fantastic so far. I've had a quick look through it, but I haven't taken the sprues out the bag or anything. And it's got a full interior. So it would be quite a little testing kit with only being small. But I have to say, thank you very much, Joe. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, and Alison, of course, his, uh, his beloved wife. Um, so without further ado, let's have a, have a look at what we've got. So it's nice artwork on the front. Sorry, it's a mini art kit, obviously. Let's get this glare out the way. Let's just glare out the way a little bit. There we go. So it's a nice little T60 mini art. And it's T60 plant number 264. Obviously, the, the uh, came out of different factories. Nice little artwork on the front. We could do something similar to that, actually. You know, a few logs out of the garden. Bit of. Uh, the old orchid soil. I think I might do something similar to that. We shall see. See on the side, we've got the, just got the same box work again, and the kit number is three five two one nine. So, with, and that's just on the same. And on the sides, we have pictures of the actual final made kit. Quite nice. Bit of photo etch on there as well. Big grill on the back. And on the rear, I'm oh, sorry, on the other side. Which, Basically just got um, nearly, nearly roomy tiger. Uh, just the usual sort of gumph, you know, telling you what not to do and what to do. And it's in U Ukraine, Russian and English, obviously. They say it's not suitable for children under three years old, this one. Or, or needs a parent to build it with, 14 plus. Obviously there's the address for the uh, mini art factory in Ukraine in Kiev. Right, so let's have a look what's in the box. So I shall just move this out the way before I do damage it, which more than likely I will. So I'll just put that there. I'll open the box. I should put the box lid down there. As you can see, I haven't... I've just had a quick look at it. I haven't taken out the sprue. So it's in one big bag. We'll have a look at the... Uh, First. And as you can see, it's lovely, lovely instructions. You know, all nice shiny paper, all coloured. Tell you what's there, it's highly detailed. It's used cutting edge moulding techniques, total parts counted 492. It's got 420 plastic parts, 70 photo etch parts, two clear parts. All hatches can be made, open or closed, open or uh, and a decal sheet for two variants. So, quite nice. I don't know why people, all, all manufacturers can't do a little lovely, you know, there's nothing to it. It's detail at the end, you know. Let me just bring this light out the way. That's, there we go. Look at that. You know, it's giving you the, sorry about the glare again. Perfect, you know, it's a couple of probably less than a pence to produce something like this in the amount they make them. And then we obviously we've got the sprue map. Again, we've got everything there. The decals, the clear part, the four to wash and all the plastic. Uh, and again, just finishing off on the other part there again with more of the plastic. And then we start assembling. Obviously, we start with the underhole first. There's lots of bits and pieces on actually under in in the in the hole first. A couple of things there. Obviously, we've been um, full interiors has to be all sorts put in there. Uh, still building up in the interior inside, and again, still fitting the engine or whatever it is into the uh, lower hull. Yeah, this part there must be part of the engine. Other bits and pieces, like I say, it all it's all fitted into the hull as you're going along, which is nice. So it wasn't the engine, we'll come on to the engine next. As you can see, quite nicely detailed again. Nice exploration, not nothing too busy going on in one in one section, just nice broken down to a nice simple part parts and then we start putting the uh, the sides on. Fire extinguishing part of the engine again. Then we start with what put the place in the engine into the tank with other bits and pieces, more floor plates, I would think they are. And let's just get this bloody light up. And then we have, you know, carrying on again, more stuff, more stuff to go inside the firewall. 
um, for the driver's compound by the looks of it. And carry on again, it's just building it up gradually, building it all up. Lovely, I like it how oh, it's all been broken down into different sections and clearly marked where they're going to go to. So building it up, obviously there's the radiator and the fan and things like that. It's quite nicely detailed. So it's going to be quite a little challenging little kit with being so small, but uh, I'm sure it'll come out fine. And then obviously we're starting to put the uh, little hole on and starting to attach the, uh, the running gear and hatches and things, one thing and another. And then on the next one, the same again, we're just getting the, you know, the, the hull attached to it and there we go, keep going the wrong way. And then we have the engine grill covers and things like that. Uh, other parts to cover in the, uh, the engine on the front. And then we get on to the, um, side, side skirts, the, um, Fenders, start building the fenders up, all little bits and pieces, attachments to that, and then the cupola starting on that. Detailed again. And also, it's all clearly beautifully marked, and then we start on the turret. Again, with the small turret, we've got the full, obviously, the full breach and everything in there to show. I don't know, I'm going to, I'll probably use this. I'm going to try to unglue the top down. I'll say I'd leave the top loose or anybody can have a look or I might try and do something completely different with it and show to show all the uh, interior because it seems a shame to cover everything up same with the turrets as well you know so this won't be weather this will be sort of factory new as they're going to say because I want to show the the interior off so there'll be a slight weather and I suppose you know but nothing nothing uh, nothing drastic it just gives you all the details of the little photo etch parts go for the uh, cable, all the clasps, things like that. And then we're on to the last part, which is basically more PE again, more PE down there, the fenders and sorry, the uh, mud guards and things like that. And then we have the uh, the cool call out, which is again. Fantastic, got that variant there, which is the 132nd Tank Battalion Lion. Trakamp Trans Corsation Front of November 1942. Tan, I can't pronounce that. Trans Corsation. Maybe I probably said it all wrong. Um, but that's the first, uh, first one. Nice little uh, camouflage pattern. And then we have. Lastly, another two variant, another two um, markings as well. We have the uh, Red Army, the Great Band of of Don, July 1942, and then we have the Red Army Stalingrad Front, Summer and Autumn 1942, and then another one is the Red Army Summer Autumn 1942. The tank is painted with a paint number, blah blah blah, artificial green, whatever artificial green is. And then we have Red Army Operation Uranus, Stalingrad Front, winter of 1942-43. Uh, I'll probably do the first one, but you never know, I might change my mind. So that's lovely. If anything follows that, that's really, really nice. Really, really nice. I don't know why all people can't do them like that. I really don't. Right, so let's, uh, let's uh, get into the plastic. If we can find a way to get into it. Is there one of these with the folded ones over the edges? Nope, I'll just have to do my best here. Just open it without damaging anything. And as I thought, every. This, I'll just take them all out of this bag. Sorry about the rustle. The whole bag will come out because they're all individually wrapped in certain bags in now, so. We shall get all that out of there. This must, this must be the, uh, the photo etch, I would have thought, and the deco. Nice little envelope. Lovely little idea. Lovely little idea. So you just obviously have a look and see what we've got in there. And in fact, we do have the PE in here. 
and it's uh, lovely, nice and thin. But look at the, you know, all the detail, the, the engine covers, the fenders, sorry, the uh, mud guards, all the clasps, all the little bits and pieces. Again. This would be a test because I don't have a photo edge bender, so I think it'll just be uh, tweezers and hoping for the best. Tweezers, pliers, things like that. Uh, we shall give it a go. Lovely done, nice and thin. You know, nothing, as you can see, they really are quite thin. And they're coated in the plastic as well, so that's even nicer, so it protects it. What a good idea the little envelope is. Really clever little idea. Quite in a what we call it. Definitive? I don't know. Put the dog's teeth in again today, I think. Right, we shall start with uh, this bag here, which I've unfortunately split. Don't think any difference. We shall take that off there as well. And they're all bagged inside, the, you know, the two plastic bags. So let's start with, as we're coming along, we'll just start with the small sprue first. Uh, There's like a cover and engine, sorry, cover and uh, yeah, and some sort of hatch, as you can see, nicely detailed. Has to be a rear as well for the hatch, obviously being a full interior. So that's a little sprue. Another little sprue again with uh, fire extinguisher, which is lovely, nicely detailed, the fire, the little fire extinguisher. It's nicely detailed in natural, for it's actually in its, um, you know, hanger, not hanger. The hell is it called? It's holder. Just an holder, so obviously there'll be a bracket onto the uh, the tank, or inside the tank, I should say. And small, numerous parts again. And they say there's no flash, no daft, you know, places where the uh, injection marks are. Nicely detailed there's the, uh, the the side that you're going to see probably the fire extinguisher. And a couple of little bits, lovely detail again. Uh, let's start with this one. So this is the actual low hull. You can see how small it is. It's quite a small little uh, tank, but as you say, it's going to be a nice testing kit. But the detail again. Look at the detail on the uh, inside of the uh, inside the hull. A superb all the rivets and obviously the uh, torsion bars to go through and everything else. And then we have the uh, fenders. That's the inside and the outside again. And there's the outside of the lower hull, nicely marked again, all the nice rear rivet heads should be look nice and then we have for the sprocket, the running thing for the sprocket lovely detail again, really really nice, crisp and fresh detail let's take some nice washes this it really will, and obviously little bits and pieces again, more that looks like the uh, looks like the mantlet off of the machine gun nicely detailed and there's a few of the little bits and pieces tow rope Shovel. Yeah, it's quite. It's very, very thin. That very thin. That's going to be quite difficult to uh, to get out. But the detail on the actual cable is nicely deep. It's nice. Look nice. So I'll have to be very, very careful taking that apart off the sprue. It's going to be somewhere to, to uh, sand all that smooth. But I may have to make me own. We'll see how it goes. Looks like a uh, crowbar. By the looks of it. So obviously for the uh, wheels and tracks. Excuse me. So that's quite nice. Nice again, and yeah, just can't argue with that. There's lots of little sprues. Lots of little. There's one, two, three, four, five sprues for the uh, wheel. So I'll just show you obviously one. The first one. Let's see we go. And this is obviously starting with the, uh, the wheels. Nicely detailed again. Nice simple wheels, really nice. Obviously we have the hubs for the centre of the wheels, nicely detailed again. All the little rivets I think they are, on there. all the details on the little hubs. Fantastic and so that's the rear of the side of the wheels. Again, really really nice. Really nice. Right so there's uh, one, two, one two, three, four sprues of that actually, not five. I can't count today. Really can't count. And then with all the same, even into these little sprues with all sorts of little bits in, so 
make what you will of those but the detail again is is nice very nice indeed for the simple little parts will they all build up to look of a it looks going to be a, a lovely little build it'll probably take some time to build but I'll show the nice again and the, obviously that's the rear of them so all the injection marks you actually can't see any injection marks at all on, the, on either side which is good right we'll carry on with the little sprawl sprues and we have two one two again of the same screw more wheels with things and more um oh yeah more wheel hubs again and wheel nicely detailed again so there's two sprues like that and then we have one sprue with the turret which is quite small as you can see but nicely detailed there's a little bit of texture on there a little bit not a great deal but See the rivet open, all the little rivets and things like that, and looks like a viewing port or a, or a gun, you know, pistol port. Nicely detailed again. So it's just individual, individual sort of all in the individual sort of sprues for some reason. Another little one with uh, same one again. We had the with the fire extinguisher, so there's two of those. And then we have a few of the uh, plates for the outside of the tank. Excuse me. Plates for the uh, outside, nicely detailed again. Lovely, no, no silly injection marks where there shouldn't be, or flash or anything like that. Just nice. Same again with the rear. There's a bit of work on the rear. Obviously, this one is not going to be shown. There's a couple of uh, injection marks there, but that looks like it's just going to be covered. There's going to be no, won't be able to see that. But there again, the nice markings again. Nice raised rivet heads, it'll take a nice wash again. So there's one screw of those, and then we have a few of the hatches, which are all nicely detailed again. No flash, just a bit of flash on there, but that's the screw, so it comes off, so I wouldn't worry about that. There again, nicely detailed again. And on the back, so the injection marks are on the rear, so you're not going to see them. Nicely detailed again, and then we have a, one with the uh, the side of the tank. So we're looking at that's the inside. I would think that's the inside. Probably being wrong. But this uh, a little injection mark there, but I don't think you're going to see that. Don't think you're going to be able to see them, but they're not going to be difficult to get out. Bit of. Uh, Fill it in there and sand it down so you're not really going to see them. Not at all. I think that's the inside or the outside. You can't really know. I think that's the outside, sorry, of course it is with the uh, for the sprocket and pulling gear. And, and this is what makes it even better because you're not going to see all these because it will, uh, where it joins on the, uh, the front plate. And that's just the inside. You know, it's nicely detailed again. The rivet heads again, all nicely detailed. So you can see how small it is. It'll be as probably as small as the uh, little Stuart that I did, which I did enjoy building. But this is obviously more, you know, more details and a lot more parts. So it should work out a nice kit. And then we have we have the uh, upper hull. There again, we have all the little uh, you can see all the little teeth for the turret, which is nice. And then all the little raised rivets and heads and then I think there's a, little, there's a little bit of texture, not not a lot not a lot, I'll have to look up to see if, I can, if it is textured I'll uh, put a bit of Mr. Surface of two, uh, 500 on just, just a little bit I'll have to re do a little bit of uh, revision and look into it first obviously hatches looks like a uh, cupola again off the top, all the detail on the uh, cupola I presume it is Oh no, it's the lower of the lower turret, isn't it? The lower of the turret, the uh, bottom of the turret, and there's some more details again, little small parts. And there's the machine guns and axe. I think they're probably uh, nicely detailed again. But it's, uh, yeah, it's the only thing it isn't slightly bent. That's going to have to be very careful with that one. Very bent, in fact. 
and it's it is actually drilled out. It's a minute hole. Let me just see if I can find it for you. If you can see, no, I don't think the light's going to let you see. It may I do. It's actually the machine gun is actually uh, hollowed out. I don't know if you can quite see it. But it's all out the tip, so I'm going to be very careful with that. I'll have to maybe just put a blob of glue on that so it doesn't break, I think. I don't want to lose the end of that, so I'll leave that spruce to the side. Um, I said that's the only, only downside probably with this kit is with having all the um, sprues together. So that could be damaged, you know, a bit of damage with sprues and things like that. I'd like to have seen them you know, individually wrapped. We can't have everything. We can't have everything. So I probably won't put them back in the plastic. It's uh, ripped completely now. Which one have I got there? Here's the rustling. Floor. A bit of clear parts and the very small sheet of decals. Nicely clear parts again. The decals are fairly straightforward. There we go. There we go. Just numbers really, a couple of little bits in there, but a couple of parts for the uh, look like light get for the lights. So, right, I've got numerous small parts here, but the detail on those is really, really nice. Whatever they are, all the hatches and ammo, I would say there are more cover, ammo boxes and things, and all for the interior part of the engine top. and more boxes. There again, nicely, nicely detailed again. No stupid injection marks anywhere that I can see for places that's going to be seen. The probably is on the rear, but there again, you're not going to see the ones on the rear. So, nicely detailed parts, obviously, for the things you're going to see inside the turret and the main hull. All nice, a few small parts there, so to be careful taking them off, but cap once each of them. Nice sprue again. And then we have the tracks, so I'll just get this how many seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sprues, small sprues for the uh, the track. Which I have to say, considering that how small they are, let me just come out a little bit. The detail is beautiful. It's going to take some building, this really is. But looking forward to it at the same time. You know, someone that's going to test me. Detail again, and that's the reverse. And got the guide horns already on there as well, which is nice. And there's no stupid injection marks that I can see. It would be virtually impossible to get them out, I would have thought. Yeah, absolutely superb. So there's a few sprues of that. And then we're carrying on with the, um, looks like it's a the sprocket again, which is nicely detailed. A few of the small pieces again. Looks like the uh, parts of the suspension, the suspension arms. And they're all nicely detailed again. You can see on the rear, thing is that you can't see, so you're not going to see with a couple of you know, injection marks, but you're not going to, have, you're not going to see them, so I'll have with that. We said lovely, lovely, lovely crisp parts, really are nice and crisp. Looking forward to building that. So there's one, two, three sprues like that, is it three? Yeah, one, two, three. It must be in. So it says three sprues of those. And then we have the final sprue with looks like the engine parts and um, yeah, all the engine parts. Lots of things for the insides. Gear stick there, radio gear stick. Drive uh, belt. Nicely detailed again. Really nice. It's going to be a long build, we say with all the small parts, but I look forward to that. I think that's going to have to be a, 
a kit that's just going to have to be built gradually. You know, put it to one side and do something else and then go back to it. It'll take some doing, but looking forward to it at the same time. I say it was a present, so I will do it justice, Joe, don't worry. I will do my very best to make it uh, look good. Oh, that was the last sprue, so as you can see, it's a very small tank um, with lots and lots of detail. Uh, it's going to take quite a long time to build. So, but looking forward to doing it. So, I'd like to thank you again for taking your time out of your day to, uh, to have a look at this kit review. Um, like I said on the uh, last update video, if I don't see anybody, uh, sorry, speak to anybody over the new year and put any, any YouTube um, bids up, I'll wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and a, and a Happy New Year for, for 2018. Uh, thank you for all my subscribers. See, I've only been doing this since I think it was the end of June, so uh, I'm gradually getting better at it, I think. Um, I've done a few kit reviews now and I do look forward to actually doing this now. I was very, very nervous to start with. But um, it's not too bad now. So I'd just like to thank you very much for viewing and we'll speak soon. We'll speak or we'll see you soon. Take care. This is Greg signing off.